Okay, part two, looks like my camera cut out. I guess we're gonna continue from here. Uh, this is the part two of the OSW for noob uh, guide. And uh, right now we have Granite Devices software booted up. I have an Argon OSW, so I'm gonna be running Granity for old Argon FW 1.XX. Um, if you upgraded to firmware 2.0, double check which version you're using. If you're having issues connecting, you might want to find a version for version, you know, find a uh, Granity software for version 2. I'm not sure. I haven't upgraded the 2.0 firmware because, shit, if it ain't broke, I ain't fixing it. So I'm going to go connect the drive. And it's going to show this. Granite Devices Argon at bus address 1. The reason why it's showing that is because I have disconnected from what I normally use right there to connect to games and use force feedback. Um, that's what MMOS uses. I've, I've gone down here and connected to this and that goes straight into the Argon motor drive, or motor controller drive. So I go to open. The only time I ever use Granity software is when I'm adjusting the torque bandwidth. So I'm connected now, you can tell, because it's the only option is disconnect from drive. I'm gonna go to tuning and torque bandwidth limit. I like a lively wheel a lot of the time, so I set it as high as I can go. That means when I'm going over big bumps and uh, a lot of bouncy stuff is happening, my wheel is dancing around or has the potential to dance around. Um, I don't think it actually, uh, you know, is exaggerated per se. If you're running the force feedback very high, it can start to feel a little exaggerated. Um, generally, none of us are, none of us would know that unless we had a you know, experience driving the car itself. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't like uh, overthink it. If this feels good to you, use it. Other guys say they like this because it's not as jumpy and they can focus a bit more on their line and accuracy. Uh, frankly, I think a perfect number is 330 or 470. Uh, that gives a nice balance between, uh, you know, the less lively feel and yet it still reacts enough to feel exciting. This one I find to be a bit just a little bit too dull, a little bit too smooth. It doesn't seem to react to stuff. So, to give an example, when I go on the L, the Lotus 79 with this, it is dancing, and I mean, dancing like it's fighting. It's putting up a fight. It's like wrestling on a bear. When I go like this, it feels like it's being, uh, it, you know, it tightens up when the grip is increasing, right? And then when you're losing grip, it it starts to feel looser, but. It doesn't go like that. It's more like tick, tick, tick. You know, it's uh, smaller, smaller increments of um, reaction, I suppose, in the wheel. That's the only way I could describe this, and I don't even know if I did that good of a job describing it. But if you uh, if you are new to OSW, try it at max, then try it at minimum. See which one you like. For right now, I'm running 3300, but like I said, a lot of the time I am running 470. That is my other favorite setting, right in the middle. Um, to save it, you simply click Apply Settings, and once you've applied the settings, it'll go. It'll usually gray out. You can hit X right there to close the program, and then it'll say Save to Drive Now, and you can click Save to Drive Now, and everything will be fine, and it'll all go away. I might as well actually. I think it's long. Yeah, it's still on 3300. So Save to Drive Now. This means I can unplug it. Plug this back in. It's still turned on, it's okay, you don't have to turn it off. Although, if you really want to be, a, you know, safe, you can turn it off and turn it back on after all the changes you made are done. And, as you can see, we're connected again. So, that's part two of the OSW for beginners portion. I hope some of this was helpful to you. And post a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.